Hi, I'm Tom Nahomi from Dell EMC. In this demonstration, I'm going to show you how to install the PowerStore Container Storage Interface plugin and deploy a persistent storage database on Kubernetes using the plugin. For the purpose of this demo, I installed a Dell EMC PowerStore and configure its iSCSI portals. As you can see, no volumes or initiators have been created yet. This array will be connected to my Kubernetes cluster. As you can see here, I have a three node Kubernetes cluster running version 115. There are no pods or persistent volume configured at this stage. The CSI plugin allows us to manage the Kubernetes persistent volume lifecycle by creating, mapping, and formatting the PowerStore volumes. Now, let's deploy the CSI plugin. The first thing to do is pulling the latest plugin version from the Dell EMC GitHub page and extracting it. In order to install the plugin, Helm version 3 needs to be installed on your machine. You can check your Helm version by running Helm version command. The next step is customizing the parameters file. By copying the values.yaml file from the CSI parse folder and changing its name to myValues.yaml. In this file, we'll need to specify the access details of the parse array, the cluster IP address, the username, and the password. By default, the CSI protocol is set to auto. This option scans the Kubernetes nodes during the plugin installation and creates the appropriate initiators on the array, whether it's Fiber Channel or iSCSI. Now, all we need to do is run the installation script, which deploys the plugin pods on the Kubernetes nodes, creates the initiator groups on the Parastor cluster, and also creates the relevant Kubernetes objects. By navigating to the Parastor user interface, we can see that three new initiators have been created by the plugin, one for each node. The plugin also creates Kubernetes storage classes. We will use these objects to configure our applications to automatically consume persistent storage from the PowerStore array. Now that the plugin deployment completed successfully, I'm going to deploy a stateful database called YugabyteDB. This is a scalable database which consists of three master nodes and three worker nodes by default. I edited its YAML file and changed its storage class to parser. Now let's deploy the database by running the kubectl create command. As we can see, six persistent volume claims have been created. By navigating to the parser UI, we can see the corresponding glands which have been created by the CSI plugin and mapped to the Kubernetes workers. We can see that within one minute, our six pod application is up and running. Now, I'm going to install some utilities on the master pods to generate real user key value database workload. We can navigate to the application web interface and see some interesting information about our database cluster. At this stage, I'm running the tool. We can see that within a few seconds, the application is starting to generate massive load on the storage array and to load balance the performance between the available worker pods. Now, what I would like to do is scale up my application 
and double the number of worker pods in order to provide more performance and storage capacity to my database. I am doing it by running the kubectl scale stateful set command. You can see that the three additional nodes are being created really quick and added to the database cluster. Three additional volumes have been automatically created and mapped to the Kubernetes nodes. By navigating to the application interface, we can see that the master detected the new worker nodes and within a few seconds it will start to load balance the load between them. The same way we can scale down our application if needed. I hope you'll find this demo useful and thank you very much for watching.